Right now, senior residents at a St. Louis apartment building are living in some very bad conditions. They tell five on your side the building has faulty air conditioning, a broken elevator, and the trash is piling up. Now, tenants at the Homer G. Phillips complex are turning to our Robert Townsend for help. We are in urgent need. Sharon Williams says for weeks, she and many of our neighbors have encountered problem. There's mold, gnat infestation. After problem, mice, rodents everywhere. At the Homer G. Phillips Senior Living Apartment Building near Whittier and Kennerly in North St. Louis. Williams says a Portland, Maine company leases the building from St. Louis City. Eagle Point Management Company, who's managing the building for the past three years, have neglected this building. Tenants say one of three elevators in the seven story building has been broken for eight months. They also say for the past two weeks, central air units in at least 15 apartments have not worked properly. City officials say the property manager bought tenants air conditioners. And those AC units are small. The apartments are big, and so they only cool one room. There are 220 apartments in this city-owned apartment building. Tenants range from 55 to 99 years old. When you come out here at night, you never know who you're going to run into because the gates are always open. Connor Kerrigan, a St. Louis City spokesman, says last month the building's property manager brought in a pest control crew to handle a bed bug infestation as well as mice issues. Kerrigan says days later, the elevator and HVAC system at the building were being repaired. Kerrigan adds, to the best of my knowledge, there are no new reports on issues at the building. Tenants know rising summertime temperatures will soon return and fears are rising. Somebody's going to die because there's no response when you have to call on weekend. Robert Townsend, five on your side. The city spokesman also says the property manager is responsible for security at that apartment building. Spokesman said that seniors should report ongoing issues to the city citizens service.